The global population which reached 7 billion in 2011 has surged to 8.04 billion and is projected to reach 10.9 billion by 2100. Factors like improved survival rates, changing fertility rates, urbanization and migration drive this growth. These dynamics impact economies, income distribution, poverty and social protections. On World Population Day, let's explore the most populous countries and how their demographics have evolved over the years. India's population has surpassed China's to become the largest in the world, exceeding the 1.4 billion mark in April 2023. This growth is attributed to the phenomenon of demographic momentum, where a country's population continues to expand despite declining fertility rates. India experienced a decline in growth rate after the 1990s, which had remained steady at 2.2% for three decades from 1971 to 1991. As of 2011, the growth rate reduced to 1.6%. According to the United Nations Population Fund, India's population in 2021 was 1,393.4 million with an average annual rate of change of 1%. The current fertility rate in India stands at 2.0 births per woman, slightly below the replacement threshold of 2.1, which is the level required to maintain a stable population in the absence of migration. India's demographic momentum is expected to persist for three more decades before stabilizing. Population projections suggest India's population will peak by 2048 before declining. China's population decline, a result of restrictive policies, has contributed to India's ascent. China's population is projected to drop below 1 million, while India's population is anticipated to continue growing. The United Nations report highlights that China managed to reduce its birth rate from around 6 births per woman to 3 births per woman within 7 years during the 1970s, while India took over 3.5 decades to achieve a similar feat. Notably, China's average fertility rate in 2022 was recorded at 1.2 births per woman, the lowest in the world. China's declining population growth is attributed to restrictive policies like the one-child policy, changing attitudes towards marriage and family, gender biases, and a preference for childlessness. In 2022, China's population fell to 1.411 billion, posing a risk to its status as the second largest economy. Conversely, India's working age population is expected to increase, driving faster economic growth. In 2023, the United States experienced a 0.5% growth rate up from 0.38% in 2022, with the current population of 336.9 million, accounting for 4.25% of the global population. Immigration restrictions and a declining fertility rate previously hindered growth, and the COVID-19 pandemic further impacted it, resulting in the lowest growth in 120 years during 2019-2020. However, an increase in the Asian population and births surpassing deaths among Hispanic, African American and Hawaiian populations have contributed to an improved growth rate post-COVID. Without immigration, the population would have declined by over 85,000 people in 2022. According to Worldometer, the country's population riding on a fertility rate of 1.78 births per woman is expected to grow to 379 million, 419,102 by 2050. Indonesia, with a population of 282,483,220 and a fertility rate of 2.32 births per woman, has a young population with 56.4% residing in urban areas. Despite effective family planning programs, the average population growth has been 1.1% over the last decade. In 2022 and 2023, the population grew by 0.64% and 0.74% respectively, reaching its current size. By 2050, the population is projected to reach 3.30 billion. Pakistan, the fifth most populous country, faces an exponential population boom projected to surpass the United States by 2050. With the current population of 234.5 million, Pakistan's fertility rate is 3.55 births per woman, set to reach 338 million by 2050. The high population poses challenges in healthcare, education and unemployment. 
concerns arise regarding development, poverty, food security, water crisis and climate change. Urgent political will is needed for reforms. Pakistan's working age population will peak by 2050, but corrective measures are crucial to prevent 34.4% falling below the poverty line by 2030. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.